The project here is called Climbing Over Oulu, Climbing the Wild City. We are very excited to, to be here and try to understand uh, how can we give uh, to the artists, architects, citizens the opportunity to link Artists, architects and ordinary citizens are setting off for a walk to see the city from a fresh perspective. They want to find hidden or neglected places away from the centre and look at ways of transforming them into vibrant artistic spaces to help create community-driven cultural experiences. Yes, it's our first stop, yes. We are a street culture association based in Oulu. Here we have dance jam going on. We can show some easy moves that you can try, just some basic. This is one of the biggest things for us, like, oh, can I, how can I, to, how to participate. So it creates uh, public interactions to bring the public doing things that we're not used to do. It was quite spontaneous. We met with the dancing group. There was a chance of facing this small fear of starting to dance. It's going to be really fun to, to see it in 2026 in other parts of the city. Thank you. This is Piki Yeah, it's called Piki We call this an artist's island. There are so many artists living here. We've had art outside. It's a very, very nice nature art path. The door is low, so you might have to bow a little. So this is uh, block number three. We absolutely need to save this one. This is fantastic. I mean, one of the most uh, pho photogenic pieces of Oulu. These were all built around 1860, 1870 maybe. I think the late last 10 years is being basically empty. And it was like three years ago when we asked, like, can we go and see? And the, the owner gave us the key. And when we saw it, we were like, this is smashing, it's great. And now we have a permission to use it as an art space. We are like maybe 10 artists. August Artists Night in Oulu. But during the summer, we haven't really decided yet. We're going to have a launching meeting next week. But my hopes and dreams are grassroots happenings. I love that. Connecting with people. The walk continues through islands in the Oulu River Delta. All this part of the Delta is going to receive almost 10,000 people in the following five years that mainly are young professionals that are spending money, but there's no cultural services. And that's something that the Silo will be, well, really important in the future. The Silo is there. The top pillar silo, designed by the Finnish architect Alvar Aalto, is an iconic piece of industrial heritage. It was part of a mill producing pulp for paper production. It was close to the sea, a location that helped transport and trade. When the trains would come, they would take the thing that came from the silo to the shipment boats. There you have your harbour. Yes. Okay, let's take this way. This was part of the factory. The one behind was part of the factory. And of course, the silo was part of the factory. The Alvarado neighborhood. Yeah. We think we will focus on uh, this neighborhood to better understand the, the city. Here is the aerial picture of 1931. So it's like understanding the city of Aulu from the outside. Do you want to see the building in the inside? Okay, let's go. Okay, wait a second while I put the lights and. This is the, the silo. I'm really happy that you're here. Watch your head here, it's quite low, be careful. Work is on the way to transform the silo into a space for art performances. This is a, almost a hundred years old piece of uh, industrial heritage. The renovation plans are aimed to just the first bay, creating a spiral stair and elevators that go to the top. Audience members will be in the top. And a performance space here. 
The idea is to touch the building as little as possible. Amazing technology of the concrete layer, engineering wondering not only for Finland but uh, for the rest of the world. This is the best view of the building. The concrete layer is 10 centimeters wide, being held by these interlocked concrete grids. Meanwhile, back at the city center. Je suis responsable du pôle artistique au plus petit cirque du monde à Bagneux, en France. Là, on répète dans les salles pour l'instant quelques scènes qui vont après être expérimentées dans l'espace public, notamment à côté du silo. Quelque chose qui est assez enrichissant comme travail de trouver des manières d'adapter un travail qui est fait sur, dans une salle avec un beau plancher, dans un espace qui est avec un sol très accidenté, des, avec euh, plein de contraintes. Et c'est cette contrainte-là qui est intéressante dans l'écriture du projet. Rehearsals are now continuing at the silo. They are preparing a show where we experience as an audience members the building inside and outside. What a wonderful backdrop for a, for a performance. I felt that I was almost like in some other uh, international place than here in Topila. In Southern Europe maybe, or even in some place like Morocco, <laughs> because of the music, obviously. This project has been done before in uh, three other uh, European capitals, in Romania, Greece and Hungary with different versions of it. So they adapt this project each time they go to a different place. There is a core performance that starts in Greece, so this is the skeleton of the performance, but the main part of the performance is to be site-specific. Here in Oulu, amazing silo of Alvar Alto, of course completely changing the performance. I'm really uh, excited to play in to play in the in place who are not uh, dedicated to to be a cultural cultural place. Massive monument. And from one side, it is really fragile and old, and on the other side, it's like it's scary. We are reopening uh, this silo after so many years. Welcome to the silo. <laughs> So the performance will get this um, impact. The different parts of the performance are getting in an uh, important dialogue with the building and with the inputs of the people also, because the way that the audience can get inside the performance, the way that uh, they can be an interaction is changing completely. Työskentelin tuota teknisessä koulussa ja kesäharjoittelijana. Olen minä käynyt täällä, mutta kyllä paljon nostalgiaa on näissä. Ja tämmöisen karun teollisuuden sisällä voi tapahtua kaunista. So the performance message is that uh, if we have a revisit industrial areas and neglected areas, we can find new solutions uh, to bring life, community and hope to the new generation. <laughs>